All right, so I hope that you guys are excited as I am because CASPA for 2021-2022 will be opening up in a few short weeks this April, April 29th. So what that means is that you all have to get preparing and there are some things that you all need to be thinking about um, just in case they happen. And one such thing is what happens if you're waitlisted? What should you be doing? So that's what we're gonna be answering in today's video. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I had a question posed by one of you, which again, I love you guys' questions, so continue to leave me comments in the comment section below. Subscribe, like my videos, do all of that great good stuff because it helps my YouTube algorithm, helps my channel get out to other people who are looking for more information on other variations of the healthcare field. Uh, and the PA profession is the best profession in the nation right now, so it's something that you all should absolutely be thinking about. But this question was from Edgar Whalen. I hope I said that right and it's not Whelan, but either way, Edgar asked, hey, you might have answered this in another video. What steps should a student take if they are waitlisted? Okay, and so Edgar, this, this question is kind of similar to if you don't get in the first time type of thing, right? Because although you are waitlisted and you're, you're waiting to see if somebody like declines their application or not, like, you can't put all of your eggs in that basket. So there are a few simple steps that I think everybody should be thinking about doing or looking into doing um, as you're applying through CASPA and you're getting uh, offers for interviews and possible wait lists, um, you should definitely be looking at the next step forward. One such thing that you should be absolutely thinking about is, hey, if I do not get in, what am I going to do? So if you're waitlisted and nobody gives up their seat, what are you going to do? Are you Have you just wasted that time just waiting for this one school to respond to you? Because I did that. I did that one of those years that I did not get in. And so, again, I want to share all of my experiences, my foolish experiences with you guys so that you guys don't make these same mistakes. So what you absolutely should be doing is looking ahead at other schools that you're interested in and then how you can better your application moving forward. Obviously, you were great enough to get an interview. Um, you were good enough where, you know, they kind of want you. They want you at their program, but there are some students that maybe edged you out on um, how they interviewed or edged you out a little bit on your, on your GPA. And so if you can just review your application and look at areas that you can actually improve on, those are the steps that you should be doing or taking while in this waitlist period. Because those waitlisted schools, um, they will let you sit until their whole roster is filled. And then if somebody declines, then you kind of get added on. And that means that you're getting closer and closer to next year when CASPA will close and open up again. And so you don't want to be wasting time waiting on schools. Another thing that you should be doing is probably just checking in every once in a while to see how many other interviews the school has and how many seats they're, will they're waiting to fill. Because that's something that you want to know. If you're waitlisted, you're like, okay, are all the seats filled or is is there two seats that are still waiting to be filled? Do you have two or three more interviews for those seats? Those are things and questions that you wanna ask because depending on that, that gives you a better idea of where you stand in like the wait list area, I guess you can say. Um, and it also gives you an idea of kind of like where you are on the list in terms of a first come first serve basis because if you interviewed early on in the cycle, but they still have like four, or so, or three or four more interviews to go. Yes, there may be students that they pick from those interviews, but at the same time, like you're high up on the list because you were one of those wait listed first, okay? Um, another thing that I definitely think you should be doing is absolutely positively researching the school, researching the program in terms of like, hey, how much it costs, uh, when you need to get your financial aid information in place, because if you are accepted, you don't wanna be scrambling at the last minute to get all of those various different pieces in place. Because again, when you're waitlisted, you're not given that information early in the application cycle. You're given typically an offer for a seat later on in the cycle, and that means that it's closer to the time where you now have to go and say, hey, job that I have or that I've had for a year or two years or three years, I'm actually no longer gonna be here. I'm giving you my one month notice or 
three week notice or two week notice depending on how much time you have left there that I'm no longer going to be here because I got into PA school. Yay! I got into PA school, right? And so at the end of the day, those are some of the things that you really have to be thinking about. But I definitely feel, Edgar, that all three of those things are really important. Um, because they help you plan for the future. And you always hear me say the plans of the diligent, right? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you probably haven't heard me say the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. But if you have, you know for sure that that's one of my favorite phrases. So plan diligently for the future, plan for any like happenstances, like what if I don't get in? What if I do get in, but it's late? Um, and then just make sure that you have all of your ducks in a row so that when you do get that acceptance, be it from a waitlisted school, School or from one of the school other schools that you interview at you're ready and prepared to hit the ground running as a new PAS thank you so much for this question Edgar I really appreciate it again you guys leave your comments in the comment section below for me go ahead and subscribe and like this video it really helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at get that University and check us out at get that because we do have a lot to offer to help you not only get into but through PA school school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!